Welcome in to another edition of the Leadership Library, hosted by CEO and author Rocky Romanella. Rocky is the author of the book, Tighten the Lug Nuts, The Principles of Balanced Leadership, and has over 40 years of business experience as a prominent member of the UPS Supply Chain Solutions team, as well as the CEO of Unitech Global Services. So sit back, grab your notebook, and take a seat and get ready for this edition of the Leadership Library. Welcome to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame of the Leadership Library podcast. Ah, had you confused there for a second? You thought maybe you had yeah, turned into a new station. No, we're we're about we're about to wrap up our Rock and Roll Hall of Fame uh, episodes, but I would like to continue along with my favorite one of my favorite songs, the leader of the band. And tonight I'm going to share with you my leader of the band story, uh, and I'll. I'll Tell you right up front now, this may go slightly more than our three to five minutes, but not much more. But let me take you through my leader of the band story. Great line in the song is a cabinet maker's son. His hands were meant for different work and his heart was known to none. He left his home and went his lone and solitary way. And he gave me a gift I know I can never repay. I got to tell you, if you had ever met my dad, Pasquale Romanella, who since passed, that describes him perfectly. Came from Italy. 14 years old, went to one year of high school and then began working in a tool and die shop for 48 years. My dad, I loved him to death, never realized what such a great impact he was because he was such an unassuming man, but did such a great work there. And then on his last day of work, he came home and he had said to me, oh, you know, I'm retiring after 48 years this coming Friday. And you know, the week came, and I remember sitting there on a Friday night saying to him, so, Dad, how, did, how was it after 48 years? Did they give you a, a cake? Did they give you, a, like, a lunch? You know, what happened on your last day? He said, oh, no, you know, I, I went in and said his boss's name was Mortimer Schwartz. He walked in and said to Morty, hey, I want to thank you for everything. I came here from Italy. You guys gave me a job, and it was able to provide for my family. So I said, well, did they do anything for you? No, 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 but I was so happy to have a job and so happy to work there. And so he was thrilled that he had a great career and was able to provide for his family. Uh, but I always felt bad about that. I always felt like something was missing. Well, fast forward at UPS, we had a tradition that on your 25-year anniversary, you got a goal, you got a watch, a gold watch, and on that watch was a was two diamonds for to symb- was was a diamond, I should say, to symbolize your 25 years of service. And so I received that in June, which was my 25-year anniversary. And so I just looked at that watch and I thought I would never be the person I am today, I thought, without my dad. And so I quietly kept that watch and on Thanksgiving, I presented to my dad that watch. And I said, you know, dad, I got this watch for 25 years of service at UPS, but I I certainly would never, I don't know if I would have even got to this point if it wasn't for you and the things that you taught me. So I presented my father that 25 year watch. And he wore it through his sickness. He ended up uh, passing away from cancer. Through all his chemo and through all his treatments, he never took that watch off. And at 30 years, I've got a second watch with two diamonds. And so he gave that watch to me to give to my son, Andrew. And I presented my dad the 30-year watch. And I was so grateful he had survived those five years. And then a few years later, he passed away. And we gave the 30-year watch to my son, Andrew. And so that kind that became our personal family legacy. But just when, you know, the story sounds good, it, it got even better. My son Rocky was a, a, a coach up at uh, St. Michael's College and through a few moves, uh, unfortunately, misplaced the watch. And so, and never had told us. And so um, his wife, Jen, such a, such a thoughtful person, loving person, right? Unbeknownst to all of us, called up UPS and tried as hard as she could and worked on it for a year to replace that watch without any of us knowing. And he still was trying to find it. And so she, the UPS supervisor in HR helps her out, gets her the company that made the watch. She calls them up, explains what happened. And long story short, makes the watch and gets the watch made on the day of their wedding, presents him that watch. And what was even nicer, she called my son, Andrew and said, you know, I never met dad. I never, I never met your father but would you come with me to the cemetery so that I can, you, maybe we can talk to him and he can hope, I hope he's okay with this. And so they both went to the cemetery and Andrew said, we sat there and we had our conversation with grandpa 
And then she presented the watch. And for me, that's the greatest legacy that you can have. All of us have our own, and it becomes organic. It doesn't happen because of something somebody tells you to do. You do a legacy starts because of the thoughtfulness you have as an individual. A, a legacy is about who you are as a person what you stand for, what are the things you won't compromise as a person, what are the values you have, and how do you translate those values? That's your living legacy. And for us as a family, it's that legacy that we have that none of us talked about doing. I just felt bad that my dad never received any recognition, so I presented him my watch. He presents it back to me to give it to my son, Rocky, so he'd always have a part of him, those two together. And then when he passes, my mother wants Andrew to have the 30 year watch. So he always has a party grandpa. Those things are simple enough, but then Jen steps in through her loving, thoughtful nature and now replicates that watch that was lost. And so that is what legacy is all about. It's the thoughtfulness. It's the caringness. It's the things you do that impact other people that they talk about and think about and feel about because you did them for all the right reasons from an honest heart. So that's my leader of the band legacy story. I hope you have yours out there. If you don't now, part of what you'll develop as a great leader is having one without even knowing you're starting to develop one. It comes about because you do the right things and you do them for the right reasons and you're a good person with an honest heart. Be safe. Thank you for uh, listening to me. I'm sorry we went a little bit long, but I wanted to share with you my leader of the band, Legacy, uh, from, from my relationship with my dad, Pasquale, and my two boys and my family and the wonderful thoughtfulness of uh, now my daughter-in-law, Jen Romanella. Be safe, everybody. Enjoy. If you get a chance, want, play, the lead, uh, play that song by Dan Fogelberg, the leader of the band. Be safe. Talk to you all soon. Oh!